can't afford the time to make these mistakes now. Too close. Zero without relative. I gotta concentrate on what I'm doing. See, as the relative velocity gets closer to zero, each burn makes that bullseye move quickly, so I've got to keep adjusting okay we're basically zeroed out so now if I look at my orbit in FD you'll see that my periapsis is almost exactly the same as the ISS periapsis and my apoapsis is almost exactly the same so not only do we have the same orbital path, but we now have almost exactly the same altitudes, which is necessary for a rotation for docking. This gives me a lot of time now that I'm two kilometers away from the ISS and my relative velocity difference is only a quarter of a meter per second. This gives me a ton of time to actually get the docking done. And I can make all kinds of changes uh, using translation thrusters as needed. Now that our orbital paths are virtually identical. And I'm just doing rotations at this point. I'm not making any changes to velocity, so it's not gonna affect Okay, so that is a rendezvous. If I take a look at the external camera, you can see I'm right there at the ISS. If I want to get in a little closer, you can use translation thrusters and use the uh, lateral, that's this, and just the different thrusters to get that crosshair right on the ISS and then I can use forward translation thrusters to bump myself forward a little quicker. See I'm at almost a half meter per second closing in on the ISS. And if I bump the translation thruster forward a little bit more it speeds that up a little bit. And all I gotta do is continue. That's one and three that I'm pressing there. And I just use those to keep this portion of the velocity vector on the ISS. And I can use eight and two to keep this portion 
of the velocity vector on the ISS. And if I need to slow down, I just press 9, and that'll slow down my closing in on the ISS. So that is a rendezvous that is complete.